Yes, sir. Uh, sir, wanted to know you on uh, specialty chemical sector for long term. तो स्पेशल केमिकल का आउटलुक कैसा लगता है लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए सर आपका कोई व्यू है स्पेशलिटी सेक्टर आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट सेक्टर एट ऑल आई गेस आदित्य इज हेयर आदित्य इफ यू वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग ही कवर्स फार्मा कंपनी यार अभी आई हैड ऑलरेडी सेंट अ रिक्वेस्ट सो Aditya, if you are free, sir. Going on. Sir, sir, आपका कोई भी specialty chemical होते? It is a commodity business. अपने जो specialty chemical बोलते हैं, वो बहुत ही common chemicals होते हैं. तो व्यू है एवर्ड ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू ओके नहीं सो स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स या द व्यू इज पॉजिटिव ओनली द ओनली थिंग इज कि ये जो स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स वर्ड है ना ये बहुत ही अब्यूज्ड है ओके सो इन द सेंस दैट कोई कुछ भी बनाता है नमक पानी तो भी उसको स्पेशलिटी केमिकल बोल देता है सो so, You, we have to work hard as an indi- as an individual investor. You have to work hard to understand what is specialty in that company. Why is it specialty? So, my one thumb rule is in that. When I evaluate such companies, ko evaluate karta hu, what I do is basically, the company claims that I make this specialty chemical. Banata hu. So, I ask them, okay, give me your three, four big products. Uh, where you make the most amount of money and uh, when they give when they give me the name of those products i just google and find out you know how many competitors are there sometimes i can ask the company also they are also forthcoming about competition what is the global demand what is the global supply how big are you in the global supply and you try and figure out how specialty it is right so if somebody is if somebody says i have 500 competitors clearly specialty nahi hai na what do you mean by specialty specialty should be that Uh, there are very few people who are doing it or who are capable of doing it correct uh, correct to ye jo word hai na specialty isko isse bahut dar ke rehne ka life mein this has created a bubble in lot of uh, stock ka valuations okay and aditya bhai aditya bhai just a moment uh, prince i am leaving i have to take, uh, take my dinner hello ha ah, sir please continue theek hai शरद सर एक खाली फोसेको पे आपका व्यू बताएंगे प्लीज सर अच्छा है मतलब मैंने भी जस्ट रिसर्च शुरू किया है उस पे हां तो रिसर्च ही करता रहे ना रिसर्च करता है अभी क्या रिसर्च करेगा कितना नॉलेज है तेरे पास मेरे पास कितना नॉलेज कुछ नहीं है ले लेना सीधा क्या फर्क आ पड़ता है प्राइस मूवमेंट से तो ले ले बाद में रिसर्च कर अच्छा है अब पैसा बहुत बनेगा तेरे इट्स एन एम एन सी गुड वन वेरी गुड सॉरी आदित्य नॉलेज सो या मेरा मेरा वही दिमाग था कि बेसिकली वेन यू हियर स्पेशलिटी बी रियली अलार्म एंड स्केप्टिकल टू बिगिन विथ डू योर ओन रिसर्च इफ यू फील दैट देर आर फ्यू पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड मेकिंग इट and there is a reason why there are very few people in the world making the product then you consider the company specialty whether they call them as specialty or not is irrelevant right and that is how you go about it uh, so once you have decided that it is specialty then you see the valuation the multiples the free cash flow the capex projections and you take a call i mean that's how i do it i'm just giving you my framework i am not at liberty to talk about specific stocks but this is the framework i follow when i evaluate specialty companies i hope that helps uh, uh prince i have uh, since aditya here here i have few questions on uh, pharma and hospital sector uh, i'll ask you and then we will move to queues aditya ha sir ha prince are sir mat bolaiye aap boliye aap to sir bulate hain hum log ek cheez batai 
ये हाँ। अपने ना बहुत जन बोलते हैं एम एन सी फार्मा कंपनी में से दे हैव पैरल बिजनेस अनलिस्टेड इन इंडिया एंड एवरीथिंग एंड गवर्नेंस इशू है तो हाथ नहीं लगाना चाहिए बट गिवन द साइज एंड द मार्केट कैप एंड द बिजनेस जो लिस्टेड में रहता है स्टिल यू विल से हाथ नहीं लगाना चाहिए एक्चुअली शरद भाई को सुनकर ना मेरा मन करता है उनकी तरह बात करने का तो आई ट्राई एंड स्पीक नहीं नहीं इट्स फनी सी आई टेल यू इट्स वेरी सिंपल एम एन सी फार्मा कंपनी का स्टॉक्स आप ना 2010 के पहले देखो और 2010 के बाद देखो राइट एंड 2015 के बाद देखो 2010 से 15 में तो कुछ हुआ नहीं उनमें बट 2010 के पहले तो कोई पूछता भी नहीं था और 2015 के बाद एमएनसी फार्मा का स्टॉक्स चलना शुरू हुआ ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दी होल एवोल्यूशन हियर तो क्यों हुआ ये राइट सो 2010 के पहले मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडियन फार्मा कंपनीज दे वर नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग सिग्निफिकेंटली इन यूएस वेरी फ्यू ऑफ देम वर इन्वेस्टिंग लाइक योर डॉक्टर रेड्डी रैन बैक्सी सन फार्मा दे वर इन्वेस्टिंग अदर्स वर नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग तो क्या होता था कि वो इंडियन फार्मा कंपनी भी इंडिया का बिजनेस करता था एमएनसी भी इंडिया का बिजनेस करता था इंडियन फार्मा कंपनी यूज टू ग्रो एट 15, 20, 25 परसेंट इन इंडिया इन दोज डेज एमएनसी फार्मा कंपनी यूज टू ग्रो 10, 12 परसेंट इन दोज डेज जस्ट लाइक दे आर ग्रोइंग 10, 12 परसेंट टूडे ऑल्सो सो बिकॉज ऑफ विच नो इन्वेस्टर यूज टू एवर थिंक अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग इन एमएनसी फार्मा एंड दो स्टॉक्स नेवर वेंट एनी वेर देवर जस्ट लैंग्वेजिंग वेयर देवर then 2010 to 15 indian pharma companies had this big bonanza in the us generic market where there were a lot of patent expiries and they were able to launch new products and uh wahan bahut paisa bana basically uh, pharma companies ka bhi aur like investors ka bhi then india mnc pharma companies ka pooch kab chalu hua 2015 ke baad chalu hua why did investors start investing in mnc pharma companies because the indian pharma companies which are sitting on a very high base of profitability and product launches in the us started facing price erosion and margin pressure to agar main ek mutual fund hu ya main ek aif hu ya main ek pms hu aur mera kuch paisa dedicated hai healthcare ko 10% of my corpus 5% of my corpus 15% of my corpus to main soch raha hu abhi ki theek hai abhi us generic market is going into deep trouble where should i डिप्लॉय में हेल्थ केयर का पैसा देन आई कैनोट डिप्लॉय इट इंडियन फार्मा कंपनीज बिकॉज दे आर डिप्लॉइंग मोर एंड मोर कैपिटल इन यूएस सो आई कैन देन बाई दी एम एन सी फार्मा कंपनीज बिकॉज दे डोंट दे आर नॉट एट लिबर्टी इज नॉट दैट दे आर डूइंग आउट ऑफ चॉइस दे आर नॉट एट लिबर्टी बाई देर मैंडेट दे आर नॉट अलाउड टू इन्वेस्ट दी मनी दैट दे मेक इन इंडिया आउटसाइड इंडिया सो देन आई स्टार्टेड बाइंग दो स्टॉक्स बिकॉज आई वॉज फाइंडिंग अ प्लेस टू हाइड फ्रॉम दी यूएस प्राइस इन now that is why the mnc pharma stocks did phenomenally well if you look at the charts you won't believe yourself as to what happened in 2015 to 2020 to these stocks okay uh, they went like some of them went 10x some of them went 20x so that happened now today what is the situation so if you take it from point to point 1980 to 2020 40 years MNC Pharma companies have lost market share in India from 90% to 10%. So they have lost 80% market share in 40 years. Abhi size hai kyunki they have been in the market for 40 years. So size to banega na market grows they grow with the market. So size to aa gaya. Lekin size ke saath saath aapko ye dekhna hai ki aapke liye paisa kaise banega. So for now you can continue to make money in MNC Pharma because for now the US generic market is still broken. it hasn't been repaired you can invest capital but when you invest capital you need to be cognizant of what you are buying so my purpose of saying such so many things itna lamba answer dene ka purpose ye hai ki i can tell you ki you go with your eyes open mnc pharma ka stock abhi bhi acha kyon karega because if they sell 100 rupee of top line in india they make 20 rupee of bottom line that 20 rupee of bottom line they invest in fds fixed deposit or liquid funds and they get 3.5% on the fixed deposit or liquid fund that they are investing in whereas when a india pharma company like let's say a, a, you know let's say orbindo makes money or let's say a, orbindo is a wrong example let's say cadilla makes money uh, they put that money in the us and there they make negative roe or lower roe than 3.5% okay so the reinvestment from the cash flow of an fmcg business like india pharma business 
that doesn't yield enough return in the india company today but that yields 3 to 4% return in a mnc company okay so and because of which those stocks are still of some interest to people but corporate governance wise agar yahi kaam koi india promoter kar raha hota ki ek listed entity aur do private entity aur do private entity mein bhi wohi dhanda karta hai jo listed entity mein karta hai to aap chute the kya stock नहीं छूते थे ना अभी जस्ट एमएनसी करता है वही सेम काम तो यू आर स्टिल आस्किंग राइट या वो बाइक आई डोंट नो देयर डिटेल्स बट इज देयर डन बाय डिजाइन के नहीं पहले से तो नहीं था यार ठीक है नहीं नहीं सो यू अंडरस्टैंड ना नहीं नहीं अंडरस्टैंड राइट व्हाई दे लिस्टेड इन इंडिया या या अच्छा टेल मी कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं था इंडिया में लिस्ट करने का इनको दे वर फोर्स्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू लिस्ट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वांट टू हैव प्राइवेट बिजनेसेस वेल एग्जैक्टली गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टोल्ड देम कि अगर इंडिया में धंधा करना है तो एक सब्सिडियरी लिस्ट करो इंडिया में दे सेड ओके ये लो एक सब्सिडियरी लिस्ट कर दिया अभी पांच में से एक कर दिया हम्म तो आप फोर्स करोगे तो ऐसे ही आउटकम आएगा राइट अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड टेल मी वन मोर थिंग से अपने व्हेन वी ट्रैक से हॉस्पिटल बिजनेस हाँ. and do a valuation कुछ अपने करते हैं का valuation के Asian markets में generally EVA bidda, 15, है या बीस पच्चीस आई डोंट नो वैसे कुछ है बट टू दाउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट से आई बाई दैट आर्ग्यूमेंट की अपना ग्रोथ थ्री एक्स टू एक्स होगा उन मार्केट से बट टू दाउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट दे कम एट अद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल वर्सेज अस सो शुडेंट वी नॉट बी टेकिंग दोज एग्जाम्पल एज आवर uh ev abidda multiple and plus hospital may be waisa i haven't tr- tracked them that closely sure. but uh, growth is that growth justify we are growing at 2x kind of thing from this asian peers we are taking the same multiple despite being a different kind of cost of capital so dekho ye jo multiple ka argument hai na completely flawed hai koi nahi matlab kisi ko i know log bolte hain ki thailand mein itna hai russia mein itna hai Taiwan में इतना है तो इंडिया में इतना लेना चाहिए वो कम्प्लीटली फ्लॉड आर्ग्यूमेंट है सी दी वे टू वैल्यू एनी फाइनेंशियल एसेट अगर आप इन्वेस्टिंग की बात कर रहे हो क्योंकि दिस कॉल वॉज अबाउट ट्रेडिंग जो शरद भाई लीड कर रहे थे बट बिकॉज यू आर आस्किंग मी अ क्वेश्चन आई एम एन इन्वेस्टर एंड नॉट अ ट्रेडर टू फॉर्म एन इन्वेस्टिंग स्टैंड पॉइंट दी ओनली वे टू वैल्यू एनी फाइनेंशियल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज ओनली अ डिस्काउंटेड कैश फ्लो मेथड ठीक है नाउ यू प्रोजेक्ट कैश फ्लोज यू डिस्काउंट कैश फ्लोज the discount rate you use is your local cost of capital is the cost of capital of the company right and then you arrive at intrinsic value and you see what the implied ev bid or price to equity or price to book whatever multiple you want to compute you can compute from the intrinsic value of the company right so main to is philosophy ko bilkul subscribe nahi karta hu ki kisi market ka koi same business ka multiple utha lo aur yahan ka business pe laga do by that logic sun pharma should be trading at थ्री का थ्री ईवी बिडा मल्टीपल बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट एवर ट्रेड एट थ्री का ईवी बिडा मल्टीपल वैसे सर फार माई स्टूडेंट ट्रेडिंग है ट्वेंटी ईवी बिडा तो वो तो खैर यू कैन नॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ यूज दैट एनोलॉजी एट ऑल नॉ कमिंग टू हॉस्पिटल्स का ग्रोथ इन इंडिया सो एक चीज आपको इसमें समझना पड़ेगा अगेन आई एम सॉरी मैं थोड़ा हिस्ट्री टीचर जैसा साउंड करता हूँ बट विदाउट हिस्ट्री आई कैनोट एक्सप्लेन टू यू वॉट फ्यूचर विल लुक लाइक प्रोबेबली हॉस्पिटल्स हिस्टोरिकली ना इंडिया में गलत तरीके से कैपिटल इन्वेस्ट किए दे यूज टू ओन द लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग इन विच दी हॉस्पिटल वॉज ओपन टू सो टू ओपन टू हंड्रेड करोर टू हंड्रेड बेड हॉस्पिटल इन सिटी लाइक मुंबई इन दब ऑफ मुंबई दे यूज टू स्पेंड टू हंड्रेड करोर ना आउट ऑफ द टू हंड्रेड करोर वन ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी करोर वॉज द कॉस्ट ऑफ लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग राइट और खाली साठ सत्तर करोड़ का कॉस्ट था मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट वगैरह जो अंदर रखते हैं बिल्डिंग के सो उसमें क्या आर नहीं बनता है बिकॉज योर कैपिटल डिप्रॉइड इज जस्ट टू हाई ओके बट ओवर द लास्ट डेकेड इन इंडिया एंड दस साल से चल रहा है फिनोमिन नाउ इट हेज स्टार्टेड ओवरटेकिंग दी फिनोमिन ऑफ द ओल्डर मिस्टेक्स सो फॉर द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स इन इंडिया नाउ ऑलमोस्ट ईच एंड एवरी हॉस्पिटल दैट दिस चेंज है ओपन दे हैव लीज द लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग दे हैव नॉट ओन द लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग उससे क्या होता है आपका दो सौ करोड़ का केपेक्स सत्तर करोड़ हो जाता है हाँ आपका इबिडा मार्जिन थोड़ा कम हो जाता है बिकॉज नाउ यू आर पेइंग लीज रेंटल्स यू आर नॉट पेइंग रेंटल्स बट यूर आर इज सुपीरियर बिकॉज यूर एसेट बेस इज सो मच स्मॉलर सो नाउ व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज योर आर ऑफ द हॉस्पिटल बिजनेस इज लुकिंग बेटर एंड बेटर सिंपली बिकॉज दी एसेट बेस एसेट डिप्लॉयड इज कमिंग डाउन पर हॉस्पिटल पर न्यू हॉस्पिटल दैट यू ओपन सो दैट इज वन पार्ट नाउ कैन दीज हॉस्पिटल टॉपलाइन डबल ट्रेबल फ्रॉम हियर द आंसर इज येस 
सो लास्ट टेन इयर इंडिया जी डी पी ग्रोथ रेट एंड वेन एस ए टेन इयर आई मीन टू थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड इंडिया जी डी पी सी एजी आर वॉज फाइव परसेंट एंड लास्ट टेन इयर दी हेल्थ केयर एक्सपेंडिचर सी ए जी आर इन इंडिया इज सेवन एंड हाफ तो विच इज वन पॉइंट फाइव एक्स ऑफ जी डी पी लास्ट टेन इयर लेट्स ए अपोलो हॉस्पिटल टॉप लाइन सी ए जी आर इज मोर देन टेन परसेंट सो इवन विद इन हेल्थ केयर समथिंग लाइक अ ऑर्गेनाइज प्लेयर इज ग्रोइंग फास्टर देन दी ओवरऑल हेल्थ केयर मार्केट तो बॉस डबल तो होगा द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ मच टाइम राइट तो मेरे हिसाब से इफ यू अज्यूम इंडिया जी डी पी ग्रोथ रेट इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स और टेन ईयर्स टू बी एट परसेंट आई विल नॉट बी सरप्राइज एट दी हेल्थ केयर मार्केट ग्रोस ट्वेल्व थर्टीन परसेंट एंड देर फॉर आई विल नॉट बी सरप्राइज एट सम ऑफ दीज हॉस्पिटल्स ग्रो इन मिड टीम्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ टॉप लाइन बोल रहा हूँ मैं बॉटम लाइन विल बी हायर बिकॉज ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग लेवरेज तो आई एम तो एक्सट्रीमली बुलिश ऑन हॉस्पिटल्स क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि दे हैव करेक्टेड दी प्रॉब्लम इन देयर बिजनेस मॉडल विच वॉज दी एसेट डिप्लॉयड ओके अच्छा एक और चीज है से फ्लिपिंग आई एम फ्लिपिंग टू मच ये डायग्नोस्टिक सेक्टर में वॉट एवर डिस्क्रिप्शन इज कमिंग जस्ट आई वॉन्टेड योर व्यू के कितना चीज पैसा से फॉर अ टेस्ट अ पर्सन इज चार्जिंग से फाइव हंड्रेड हाउ मच एक्चुअली गोज टू द रेवेन्यू ऑफ डायग्नोस्टिक वॉट एवर लिस्टेड कंपनी और अनलिस्टेड and how much goes as a distribution expense wo uh, customer acquisition ka because when we see uh, say arpu par test to mere ko abhi yaad nahi hai but when i saw long back utna usme growth nahi hota tha jitna ye log agar uh, retail price mein dekhte hain whatever increase we see when we are paying paying as a customer that mm-hmm. doesn't get reflected when we are seeing a, a diagnostic chain uh, their arpu realization increase खुद से जा रहा हूँ There is no leakage between what I am paying and what he is realizing. एक होता है कि मैं किसी डॉक्टर के पास गया मेरे चेस्ट में दर्द है मैं डॉक्टर के पास गया डॉक्टर ने मेरे को एक सी टी स्कैन बोला मैं सी टी स्कैन करने के लिए लैब में गया वहां पे अबाउट थर्टी परसेंट इज द लीकेज टू दी डायग्नोस्टिक प्रोसेस वॉट आई पे तो थर्टी परसेंट गोज टू फॉर दी रेफरेंस एंड फॉर दी मार्केटिंग एंड वट एवर एक्सरसाइज यू कॉल इट वो उसमें चला जाता है थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी अरेजमेंट बिटवीन द मार्केट ईयर इन द मैनुफैक्चर सो थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट का लीकेज पॉसिबल है वहां पे देन ऑल्सो लास्ट का दो तीन साल का डेटा डायग्नोस्टिक लैब्स का बहुत ही डिस्टॉर्टेड है डिस्टॉर्टेड क्यों है बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड तो इनिशियली आर टी पी सी आर केम वेरी हाई टिकेट वेरी हाई मार्जिन देन दी प्राइसेज ऑफ आर टी पी सी आर गॉट रेगुलेटेड लोअर मार्जिन बट स्टिल हाई टिकेट नाउ इट्स इज स्टिल कमिंग डाउन सो नाउ लोअर टिकेट लोअर मार्जिन तो ये अगर आपको डायग्नोस्टिक इंडस्ट्री समझना है तो आपको 200 2020 के पहले का डेटा ही देखना पड़ेगा उसके बाद का डेटा का कोई सैनिटी नहीं है देर इज नो सैनिटी इन द डेटा ऑफ 2020 21 एंड ऑलमोस्ट 22 नाउ 23 का डेटा में सैनिटी आएगा वापस सो इफ यू वांट टू सी सेम डेटा लुक एट द टू डेटा एंड कंपेयर इट विथ टू डेटा बीच का तीन साल भूल जाओ डायग्नोस्टिक इंडस्ट्री का बिकॉज दे हैव गॉन थ्रू सो मच इन दिस थ्री ईयर्स That that uh, and volatility, which is not in their control, right? So RTPCR starting me, mereko bola, jitna charge karo, maine charge kiya. Phir bola, itna charge karo, maine utna charge kiya. Phir competition itna intense ho gaya ki sab koi kam charge karne lage, maine kam charge kiya. And the cost of my diagnostic kit also came down. Now starting my RTPCR kit ke liye mereko 400 rupees dena padta tha. Abhi 40 rupees mein milta hai, right? So there is a lot of uh, difference uh, things that happened in the last three years, which impacted the. वे दिस बिजनेस ओवर द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स सो लास्ट तीन साल मत देखो इस इंडस्ट्री का दो हजार उन्नीस देखो दो हजार तेईस देख लेना अभी जो भी आएगा नंबर बी द मोर स्टेबल इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ वॉट दिजनेस इज वॉल्विंग टू नाउ कमिंग टू दी डिसरप्शन राइट सो मैंने एक हमारे सो इनक्रेड पी एम एस का एक न्यूज लेटर निकला था दस पंद्रह दिन पहले इट वॉज ऑन डायग्नोस्टिक्स तो उसमें हमने काफी डेटा दिया है आपको कि यू नो डिस्काउंटिंग एंड ट्राइंग टू सेल लोअर प्राइस डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट सो फार हैजेंट वर्क 
So I don't know how many of us on the call they have uh, been aware of this lab called Healthians. Delhi Valley should definitely be aware, but outside Delhi, I think very few people have heard of uh, Healthians as a lab. So Healthians is promoted by uh, former cricketer Yuvraj Singh, and it is also pro- co-promoted by ma- various private equity investors. Um, Healthians started, I think, in 2014, and unka test prices are lower than Tata One MG, and they have been lower for. Eight years now. Uh, over these eight years, Healthians' financial performance has been 70 crores ka top line. Latest performance is 70 crores ka top line and 45 crore ka uh, loss before tax. Okay, and over these eight years, uh, Thairo Care, Ho Chai, Metropolis Ho Chai, Dr. Lal Ho, they have made thousands of crores of revenue incrementally, right? So uh, is is uh, so hist so future me kya hoga dekh mere ko nahi malum tere ko nahi malum uh, history nahi suggest karta hai ki discounting works in history discounting worked only once when thyro care disrupted the thyroid market back in 1990 uh, to thyro care bhi disrupt tha log bhul jate hain ye cheeze 1990 mein disrupt kiya tab 600 rupya ka tha thyroid ka test thyro care started with 100 rupees test uh, but but that disruption was a profitable disruption see what thyro so i would like to get feedback from you guys also but in my books disruption is when the disruptor and the audience both make money from the disruption that is a sustainable disruption uh ye jo loss bana ke market mein ghusne ka koshish and baad bhi charge kar lunga ye jo hai na that is not a disruption that is just a gamble somebody has taken okay and that gamble only uh, you can continue to play till there is free money tap you know behind you wo free money band ho jayega to you won't have money to burn then how do you carry your disruption forward right because your disruption requires burning cash right so chahe wo e pharmacy ho chahe ye online diagnostics ho chahe ye online consultancy ka business ho none of these guys are profitable sabka data hai ministry of corporate affairs mein sabka data hai जाके एक एक एंटिटी का डेटा निकाल लो ऑल ऑफ देम आर लॉस पिकिंग और सबके पास अभी कुछ कैश बैलेंस पड़ा है क्योंकि इन्होंने बहुत ही इनसेन लेवल्स पे इक्विटी पे डाइल्यूट किया इन द लास्ट टू इयर्स सो दे ऑल गॉट सम कैश लेफ्ट बट दैट कैश इज गोइंग टू लास्ट ओनली इयर और टू राइट दे विल नीड अनदर राउंड ऑफ इक्विटी देन उस अभी इस माहौल में कौन देगा इक्विटी का पैसा उनको और अभी नहीं मिलेगा फिर कैश टू बर्न तो फिर कैसे बिजनेस मॉडल आगे चलाएगा फिर तो प्रॉफिटेबल होना पड़ेगा ना बिजनेस मॉडल सस्टेन करने के लिए प्रॉफिटेबल होना पड़ेगा मतलब यू हैव टू चार्ज मोर देन द ब्रिक एंड मोटर ना ब्रिक एंड मोटर का डिप्रिशिएटेड एसेट है ऑलरेडी वॉल्यूम्स है यू कैन चार्ज मच लोअर देन यू तुम्हारा ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म है एग्रीगेशन में तुमको कुछ पांच दिन देना होता होगा बैक एंड को हाउ विल यू चार्ज लेस देन हिम लुक एट द वैल्यू चेन ब्रिक एंड मोटर गाई इज डायरेक्टली कमिंग टू द कंज्यूमर दीज आर एग्रीगेटर्स दे आर गोइंग टेकिंग द सैंपल फ्रॉम यू गिविंग टू थर्ड पार्टी पेइंग द थर्ड पार्टी टू डू द टेस्ट एंड डिलीवरिंग द रिपोर्ट टू यू लॉजिस्टिक कॉस्ट है प्लेटफॉर्म कॉस्ट है बैक एंड कॉस्ट है किधर से कंपीट करेगा ही कैन ओनली कंपीट इन एज अ टैप फ्लोइंग बिहाइंड हिम विच गिव्स गिविंग हिम फ्रेश मनी टू बर्न द मोमेंट दैट टैप स्टॉप्स ही इज गॉन यमका जी आई जस्ट हैड अ क्वेश्चन सर दिस चाइना देयर देयर हैव अ स्टॉक ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्शन मूविंग फ्रॉम चाइना टू अदर कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया Yes. Is it actually working out? Uh, is it panning out? Sir, it is in progress. See, one thing you have to understand about pharmaceutical, which are chemi- certain specialty chemicals. Uh, these are extremely regulated businesses. So, decision abhi last ke two saal mein liya gaya hai that many of these global MNCs have taken this call, and you can go and read the transcripts of these global MNCs. You don't have to ask me these questions. You can go and just do a. Google on these global MNCs conference call transcripts. They have said China plus one very very clearly. So diversify. So the three four phrases use करते हैं लोग. De-risking the supply chain, quote unquote. पहला phrase. Second phrase China plus one. Third phrase additional vendor. Okay. ये तीन phrases काफी frequently पढ़े मैंने. तो ये तीनों phrases को आप करोगे तो they have said this multiple times over the last two years. Uh, so clearly they want to move away from China, but this is a regulated business once you have taken the decision to move it will take you bloody 3 years to move so kya hai what is the process so today i am a let's say i am a global mnc like pfizer i am buying from let's say ajijang 
company in china i am buying sartans now i i decide that i don't want to buy sartan only from jijang i want to buy it from a second party also just to de-risk my supply chain right so i come to india i do my due diligence on the four five sartan manufacturers i can find in india i tell one sartan manufacturer let's say ipka laboratories for the sake of argument i say ipka that i will buy sartans from you now ipka says okay you tell me which sartans what is your make pfizer says this is the recipe i want you to make for me ipka starts manufacturing pilot batches sends it to pfizer for quality verification pfizer takes its own sweet time verifies the quality runs 5000 tests on it to verify quality standard everything sends a report back if everything is okay or it sends a report back that these are the changes which we need ye sara process khatam hota hai uske baad there is an acceptable quality that ipka meets then pfizer goes to the regulator says please add ipka in my dossier i will not only procure from jijang i will also procure from ipka the regulator comes down to ipka audits its facility audits the process gives okay to pfizer then pfizer tells ipka okay now i can start buying from you please manufacture commercial batches then ipka manufactures commercial batches sends the batch that is when the first billing happens ye pura process hone ko 3 se 5 saal ke beech mein kuch bhi lag sakta hai depending on the number of iterations at each and every stage right seamless hoga to 3 saal with seam hoga to 5 saal so basically to Yes, China plus one is in progress, but can you make money from this argument tomorrow in the market? No. Okay. First of all, uh, thank you, Aditya, for all the knowledge that you share with everybody. Uh, going back to your point on diagnostics, uh, two things exactly. I wanted to add that uh, I think re- reliability and trust are two other big factors which come into this whole testing game. Indeed. Where all these branded guys definitely. come in so i remember watching one of your uh, interviews on youtube where you, where, where you were presenting the incred healthcare fund right. and you mentioned that your uh, diagnostics holding is obviously very low since pricing was out of whack at that point yes. in time yes yes dr lal has broken down its 50% per- of what it was <laughs> from those times yes. so have have you kind of started picking up um, increasing holding on diagnostics what's your overall view 5 10 year horizon secondly uh, and just another two more questions your take on the results from loris labs and how do you see them progressing over the next 5 odd years 5 10 years and third sinjin i feel is a very misunderstood company or ununderstood company so so if if you could just elaborate a little bit more about that just for everyone's benefit so stock specific i will not give any buy sell recommendations i'll tell you about the business model okay exactly. my Perfect. and this is my opinion sure. on the business model uh, this is not a buy sell recommendation just mm-hmm. to get the disclaimer out of the way um so coming to diagnostics uh, your question was on uh, you know am i uh, now okay with the valuation of diagnostic companies the answer is yes they are definitely more reasonable see i am a greedy person i want it to be more reasonable than what it is today but is it more reasonable than what it was in the past the answer is for sure it is more reasonable than what it was in the past so are we looking at it more positively today the answer is definitely yes can it be still more positive the answer is yes i hope that uh, addresses your first question um uh, coming to results on let's say something like a sing uh, of a uh, uh, sorry loris labs uh, so uh, see loris uh, again uh, I, i keep saying this that many of these pharma companies are essentially conglomerates right so they do multiple businesses so loris be conglomerate they have four five businesses iska api business is largely arv that is where they have a problem because the market is somewhat saturating there and competition doesn't seem to be backing down so they have a challenge in terms of pricing and profitability uh, and growth uh, so that Correct. segment and that, uh, and sorry to interrupt but that injectable thing that's coming the in- injectable so i think that should also have an impact right uh, i am not sure yaar dekho kabhi bhi oral therapy ko injectable se replace hote hue duniya mein dekha hai na it has not been a great success okay theek okay. hai कोई कुछ भी बोले इंजेक्टेबल लगाने के लिए एक तो डॉक्टर के पास जाना पड़ता है दूसरा दर्द होता है पेशेंट को और वो टैबलेट क्या घर पे ले सकता है नहीं। तो ये बात तो ये बात फेयर है कि इंजेक्टेबल क्या हफ्ता का एक चाहिए और टैबलेट दिन में दो खाना पड़ता है दैट इज अ फेयर पॉइंट बट वो हफ्ता में एक बार आप डॉक्टर के जाओगे की दिन बार दो में घर दो बार घर पे बैठ के टैबलेट खाओगे वो आपकी मर्जी है 
plus the pricing of injectable will be more than 14 tablets so we are comparing one injection to 14 tablets so pricing will probably be significantly higher so affordability ka bhi angle hai. so i don't know whether that is a uh, you know I'm so, i am not saying yes or no i am just saying we don't know hmm. रॉकी पाथ बिकॉज द लार्जेस्ट सेगमेंट विद इन दी एपीआई विच इज एर वी इज गोइंग थ्रू अर्बुलेंट फेज एंड विल इट इम्प्रूव वेरी लाइकली नॉट सो इट विल रिमेन लाइक दिस फॉर अ फ्यू इयर्स टू कम now coming to their formulation business so so far their formulation business has lmic as the lion share of their sales uh, they sell arv formulations in low and middle income countries and they sell some andas in us which is very small today and they have recently done a capacity expansion also 5 billion tablets ka 10 billion tablets ka diya capacity so multiple things are playing out there right so lmic mein kya ho raha hai pricing pressure hai arv tablets pe so that is creating Uh, some loss on margin and top line on the arv formulation us anda they are too small today 100 crore plus revenue uh, plus minus 20 crore so utna chhota base pe they will still continue to grow because that business is very large in the market so they will go and get their fair share and they have done a capacity expansion for that business so they will be able to supply more tablets and that is where they'll probably make some growth Uh, but overall i don't like this business where you are just tender business se dono jagah chahe lmic mein ho chahe us mein ho this is again a business which has got you know that capex intensity pressing pressure competition and i generally try to stay away from such businesses because inme paisa bahut mushkil se banta hai so i i like easy money so jahan aaram se paisa bach jaye apne log wahi pe rahe to acha hai this is a business where you can make money but it's tough to make money uh, so wahan pe वहां पे इनका ग्रोथ आएगा बट दैट ग्रोथ विल कम बाई कैपेसिटी एक्सपेंशन केपेक्स इंटेंसिटी वर्किंग कैपिटल इन्वेस्टमेंट्स तो कैश फ्लो कितना आएगा मालूम नहीं एंड रिमेम्बर आई स्टार्टेड माय टॉक टुडे बाय सेइंग दैट एनी सिक्योरिटी शुड बी वैल्यूड ऑन डीसीएफ सो कीप दैट इन तो कैश फ्लो पता नहीं कितना आएगा बट टॉप लाइन मार्जिन थोड़ा थोड़ा आ जाएगा फॉर्मुलेशन में नाउ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट फॉर लॉरस इज दिंथेसिस बिजनेस द कस्टम सिंथेसिस बिजनेस i think they're doing phenomenally well there they're doing phenomenally well there and uh, that business i'm very very excited about but durbhagya ye hai ki i can't buy only that business i have to buy either the entire piece or nothing of it True. so then you know you have to take that call for yourself whether you like that business mm-hmm. so much that you can buy the other two pieces for it or do you hate the other two businesses so much that you don't want to buy this business for it that answer can be different for all of us Uh, depending on how our framework you know analyzes the mm. company so mm. that is my take on it uh, loris uh, and sorry so, just to uh, uh, jump in here on the biologics piece this card is card nahi nahi to small yaar 100 crore ka top line hai yaar okay okay hey, abhi abhi matlab loris ke context mein 100 crore ka top line ka kya baat karu formulation mm. is 2000 crores no fair ha to synthesis chalo theek hai 1000 crore ke aas paas hai फॉर्मुलेशन दो हजार है एपीआई हजार है उस कॉन्टेक्स में व्हाट डू आई टॉक अबाउट सौ करोड़ सो पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल है आपको दिखता सी एनी सो ये दिस आंसर एक्चुअली विल लिंक टू योर सिंजीन आंसर तो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सिंजीन बिकॉज वो सेम धंधा है राइट जो लॉरस का डायरेज कोर में दैट इज द सेम एज वॉट सिंजीन इज डूइंग सो विच इज आई डेंट स्पीक अबाउट इट सो सिंजीन और जस्ट दी सी आर ओ बिजनेस राइट वो तो मोनोपली है ना सिंजीन का भी इंडिया में ठीक है रिच कोर है लॉरस के पास इपका इज ऑल्सो डूइंग समथिंग एंड यू नो अदर्स आर ऑल्सो देर आर मेनी अदर स्मॉलर कंपनी ट्राइंग टू डू सम स्टफ ऑन बायोलॉजिक सी आर ओ बट सी वेन यू रन सी आर ओ योर बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इज टू विन द ट्रस्ट ऑफ योर कस्टमर बिकॉज योर कस्टमर इज हू एम एन सीज नो दीज ग्लोबल पेटेंट होल्डर्स राइट and if you think of a pfizer if you think of a amgen a biogen what is it that their valuation is based on their valuation is based on their ip intellectual property right hmm. that is everything that they have uske alawa kuch nahi unke paas ip is the only thing that they have and they have to share this ip with you to make you work for them as a cro hmm. so, so 
to get them to trust you is extremely difficult which is why this business globally has very few players kyunki ye trust itna aasan nahi hai aane ka right abhi sinjin has proven to you that he is one of the guys these people are willing to trust in fact in india the only guy that these people are willing to trust so to my mind that is a humongous achievement humongous matlab monumental achievement okay and for for our country i mean sinjin is one company which is doing it for us but for our country so uh, so yeah i mean i think you are right it is under less understood uh, as a company uh, but that doesn't that will not stop the company from growing because ye ek snowball business hai right so 10 of us do innovator businesses one of us goes to sinjin gives him one project he does well i give him three more projects does well the other guy goes gives him two projects he does well then the other eight also want to go to sinjin right okay. because they say ki ye dono kar sakte hain to hum kyun nahi kar sakte to you know it's a business that has a snowballing isko j curve bolte hain sin value whenever he writes yeah. he writes about j he writes about a j curve ye j curve ye hota hai basically me too hai Uh, when you know you find people you want to trust your life with so jaise wealth managers ka hota hai na you know my padosi right. as a wealth manager he has done well for him so i say ki are mera padosi usko paisa diya he has done well for him so why can't i trust the same guy right so wo me too hai thoda but wo me too is very very strong ha matlab apne ko log ko lagta hai ki within neighbors me too hota hai nahi me too goes for mnc pharma companies also in this case there they want to find those few people they can trust with their intellectual property Thank you so much. My pleasure. Uh, Raman, you can ask your question, and then I guess Prince and uh, Vajpayee, you can make a concluding remark. Yeah, thanks. And uh, hello, Aditya. Uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, even ask you a question. Um, Aditya, I just wanted to know about the injectable space because, uh, in a very broad level, I've been hearing that uh, this is one space which none of the Indian companies have been. able to break into and there have been lot of issues and surprisingly hygiene issues which have come up uh, so do you know anything uh, uh, anything which is now changing in this space uh, vis-a-vis an indian company and also if i can squeeze in uh, are you tracking any company which is uh, into fermentation based api um, production in india yeah uh, these are my two questions thanks yeah um thanks for the question i think uh, uh, so for uh, fermentation is an easier answer i'll give you that so yes there is a api manufacturer in india that is in fermentation it is listed uh, i don't want to name it because wo pump and dump aur kya kya hota hai and it's too small for me to buy in my fund uh, so i don't have it in my fund but uh, i don't want to name it but there is a listed fermentation api player and they are doing uh, they are currently in the process of upgrading their plant and everything because the order book has just blown up and the plant is not <laughs> it was not designed to handle that order book so so abhi wo pura plant change kar raha hai so anyways uh, that is happening uh, so there is a fermentation based api player in india and there are others also who run unlisted space uh, big opportunity because uh, china is ha- has a monopoly on fermentation and just like any other thing people who are buying fermented products from china want a alternative source so there are people in india making an effort to uh, change that uh, so there are couple of fermentation players actually listed not one there are two listed uh, so that is that to uh, wahan pe hai bahut bada opportunity hai but patient money again regulated business hai so don't buy today or tomorrow hoping ki ek mahina mein panch mahina mein ho jayega kuch wo nahi hoga so if you buy buy with your patient capital the capital which you don't need to look at for the next 5 years or 10 years waisa capital se kharido um coming to your question on injectables so this is a very very debatable topic but i'll give you my view and uh, with it i will tell you that i have gone wrong for the last 3 years with this view uh, so my view is that uh, injectable supply to the us market is a just just as commodity a business as oral solid supply to the us market because marketplace same hai na the only difference is that let's say the demand for oral solids in us is x and the supply for oral solids is 2x in injectable if demand is x supply is 0.8x or 0.9x so in the last 10 years where the oral solid prices in us have come down on an average by 6 to 7% for a generic pharma company uh, 
the prices of uh, injectable generic products in US have actually gone up by 6-7% CAGR on the last 10 years. So they have seen inflation when the other pockets of generic market were seeing deflation in prices. Now, therefore, the key question to answer here is, in your process framework, the key question to answer here is, is this peak margin, peak profitability, and peak multiple? Right? So the disaster time to buy any stock is peak margin, peak multiple, right? Which means the stock is 5x, 10x of its value today. Right? Um, injectable gives me that feeling. Because there's a lot of injectable supply which has been created but that supply has not been able to be monetized. Now, what, what is the reason it is not monetized? Uh, that reason is largely compliance. Now, comp so the largest injectable player which makes so much of a brouhaha and gets a enormous multiple for its brouhaha, uh, they keep saying that our compliance is our moat. Wrong, incorrect. I don't read it that way. Sorry, my interpretation is not that. They may be right in saying that in their own rights. My interpretation is that their moat is the non-compliance of others. Tomorrow, if others become compliant in supply, there is nothing that this company will be able to do it and their moat will be violated. No? So any moat which can be violated by somebody else's actions is not actually a moat. A moat is something which only you can destruct. right? So the moat for this injectable player, which is doing so well in injectables, is that the others who have injectable capacity are unable to monetize it because they are non-compliant. Correct? Now, my point to you is, do you want to buy something at 35, 40 earnings multiples or you know, 25, 30 EBITDA multiples or 10 times sales multiple, um, where the future is not dependent on the actions of this company. It is actually dependent on the actions of the other companies who have created capacity and are waiting to monetize it just because they are waiting for the FD audit to happen. See, this company got two extra years because two years FDA was not auditing. Now FDA is again started auditing. Now when FDA again audits the injectable capacity of the other players, two potential outcomes, either an approval or again issues. If again issues, the moat will continue. If approval, the moat will still destruct. Because supply will hit the market, price will come down, market share loss will volume will come down. See, do hit at Price and volume both go, both reduce. So if price declines by 10 and volume declines by 10, your revenue declines by 28%. Right? So, wo thoda us pe dhyan dena. So, uh, I feel injectable, but I have been feeling this for last three years. So, please uh, do your own work. My capital generally is a 5 to 10 year capital. So I can afford to go wrong for one year, two year, three years and I don't blink an eye. Um, but uh, you guys need to take your call for themselves. So if your capital is quarter, two quarter, three quarter ka capital, hai, maybe injectable will continue to be a very, very interesting space to be in. But from a 5-10 year standpoint, I just don't see that happening. Yeah, thanks for that. And I, I think you put it so, um, uh, it's a very helpful way of looking at uh, the compliance that it should be default and it, it's not in moat uh, until someone else also manages to have that compliance level. Actually, you know, uh, Aditya, I wanted to ask more in terms of, I'm not referring to one popular injectable company which is in India. Sure. Um, I, and I guess you're referring to that one. But my question is more on the, on the other ones which have uh, formulation businesses but however have been not able to break into injectables so is there a significant opportunity for any of the ones? Uh, do you see anyone who has a potential? And two, uh, does injectables also depend upon certain diseases um, or maybe biologics? Do, do they prefer to have it through injectables? So I was yes. actually trying to understand it in, in that way. In that context. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. In that context, it is an opportunity. Now, because see, the guy who is already there is making 40% return on equity, you know? So the next guy who hits the market will cut the price. He will make 35% return on equity. The following guy who comes will again cut the price. He will make 30% return on equity. The next guy who comes, he will make 25% return on equity because he'll further cut the price and so on and so forth. So you can play the injectable potential of other guys till the return on equity of the incumbent hits 15%. That is when this guy is also making 15%. 
and after that whoever comes will take the return on equity below cost of capital so uske baad to injectable bhi nahi dekhne ka hai mm-hmm. does that answer your question yes so so which companies you are confident on yeah i can't name companies but i think uh, if you so what should at, i look for if i have to ah, because you know everyone yes, keeps talking about right question yeah That's the right question. What is the framework there? So the framework mm-hmm. there is whoever is successful in injectable outside of the US is very likely to be successful in injectable even in the US. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Aditya. I yeah. cannot say enough, but uh, I follow you and I learn so much from you, and you have always been very generous uh, with your knowledge. Hey, this is the second session I have hijacked here. I came to here to Sharad Bhai. He went to go. And then I am getting questions last time. Belu Mani sir, yeah, this is not not uh, nice. People really love listening to your thoughts. You are so eloquent on the pharma space. We really get to understand the difficult sector, and we really appreciate it. And we sincerely request you to give us time specifically so that pre-planned spaces people come up with the, or uh, many questions. In random spaces, we often see that some mixed questions are. ask so any time in when you feel like uh, and you have time sir we would love to host you somewhere karenge karenge at some point in time we'll do it thank you also for, also for everyone uh, there was one very good interview from aditya about a month back uh, uh bloomberg coin i guess neeraj i just shared that link on uh, this uh, twitter spaces uh, you can search that on youtube as well so please listen to that interview I wanted to say something before you conclude the call. May I? Please, yes, please. Yes, sir. Please. Ah, ah. So, uh, I know there are a lot of retail investors here. I heard a lot of them ask questions to Sharad Bhai and Ravi Bhai, and you know, um, I, I, I know you all are trying to make an honest living. So I'll give you something which I feel is nobody is paying attention to. Okay, and uh, you can actually get in, so to say, at the ground floor of this opportunity. so but i will not take company names but i'll give you the framework to work with uh, and if you apply this framework i'm sure you'll come up with 5 to 10 names where you can stay invested over the next maybe 5 years um so what what has happened okay so just just be very focused i may take 2 3 minutes to put my point so in april 2022 the indian government allowed pharma companies to increase their prices of products in india this is specific to the indian business of the pharma companies the products which are under nlem they are allowed to increase the prices by 10.77% that is the wpi now how is this wpi 10.77% calculated so if they are taking for april 22 then they actually take the wpi for jan to december 2021 and then they average the wpi to arrive at the number that they should allow the pharma companies to increase prices by in april okay so far so good so jan to ap- december 2021 ka wpi ka average liya aur april 22 mein aake announce kar diya ki that is the percentage by which you can increase prices of your products because there has been an increase in the cost of production which is reflected in the wpi theek hai abhi pharma companies ka cost inflation started happening in september 2021 so september ka 21 ka jo uh, results tha and December ka tha and March ka tha. Usme margins were suppressed because raw material cost was high, but they were not able to pass on because unko price sirf April me badana allowed hai. Now April me they have increased prices. Now May and uh, April and May the inventory which they sold is the older price inventory because two months ka inventory maintain karte hai pharma company in India me. June me sirf naya price ka inventory bika hai, which is the higher price inventory. now your 1q23 results will reflect a one month higher price sales and september quarter will reflect the full quarter of higher price sales but it doesn't stop here raw material prices now have starting to cool off obviously that some of it is driven by crude some of it is driven by you know other commodity prices um, etc etc freight cost all of which is cooling off from the peak but come april 2023 what will happen government will take jan to december 2022 wpi now look look at the wpi for jan to july and i'll end there so that that is something i just wanted to share with you guys here thank you sir 
Uh, Ravi, I have some issue with the screen. I am not seeing all the audiences. Are we done with the questions or anyone is to, uh, left to ask questions from sir? Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, there's one request from Krishna, but it's getting late. Let me try to put Krishna. I'm not able to hear. Anyway, we will uh, take his request uh, next time or perhaps if he have any question, uh, we'll uh, coordinate and uh, ask from Aditya, sir. Thank you once again, sir, for uh, coming to our spaces and uh, adding value. And those who are, uh, I mean, those who have interest in pharma space, so Aditya, sir, and uh, Unseen Value, Sajal, sir, and Puneet Bansal, three handles I really admire and uh, Literally, you guys are helping retail people big time, sir. Seriously, fan of yours. <laughs> hey, thank yeah, you. I mean... My pleasure. My pleasure. And uh, uh, hope all of us make uh, you know a decent, uh, hard-earned uh, return on our capitals. That is the reason why we share. And I think we all believe that uh, sharing includes learning also. So you know whatever feedback you guys have, I write newsletters. I share those newsletters on Twitter and LinkedIn. Um, so any feedback you guys give us helps us to improve, helps us to you know uh, get better. Uh, so let's keep it a two-way street. Let's keep the communication you know going, and uh, hopefully we'll all benefit from such interactions. Right, sir. So true. Yeah, Ravi. Any any concluding remarks from your side? Then we no. Yeah, just up. just thanks for everyone for staying so late. It's been uh, very long session, and thanks, Aditya. Uh, for patiently taking all the questions. So we can come to it. It's getting late now. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. And uh, guys, if you are liking our spaces, do connect with us. And uh, we often host our spaces. And uh, obviously, it is a mutual platform where uh, good questions and good answers add to our knowledge and uh, keep coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good night.